Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan spoke to journalists on his flight en route to Turkey from Azerbaijan on Thursday. President Erdogan evaluated Turkey's foreign policy engagements and national security issues. We reaffirmed that our common vision for the Southern Caucasia is built on the basis of peace, stability and development, determining the borders, opening the connection road between Nachivan and the western regions of Azerbaijan and signing the peace agreement will constitute important steps for the normalization of the region. There is no doubt that the progress in the Azerbaijan-Armenia negotiations will also contribute positively to the normalization process between Turkey and Armenia. With the mediation of Turkey and the United Nations, Ukraine and Russia signed an agreement in Istanbul in July on the resumption of Ukraine's grain shipments from Black Sea ports. The grain initiative has been operational for nearly three months, and for this period of time, three ports of Chornomors, Odessa and Pivdeni have exported millions of tons of grain and other foodstuffs. There is no obstacle to extending the shipping agreement. I saw this again in my phone call with Zelensky and in my meeting with Putin. But in the meantime, if there is any blockage, there is no obstacle for us to overcome. It is also our hope that we will continue on the road for peace by bringing the two leaders together. Russian President Volodymyr Putin has proposed to President Erdogan to build a natural gas hub in Turkey. The Russian leader praised Turkey as the most reliable partner for gas deliveries to Europe. They cannot obtain natural gas from Russia whenever they want. What are their expectations? If Turkey becomes the energy hub, will such natural gas demands from Turkey be met or not? Likewise, will there be a supply in the natural gas demand from Azerbaijan at this point? I see that my brother Ilham Aliyev has a positive attitude towards this issue. We will evaluate these and evaluate the developing process accordingly and take our steps accordingly. President Erdogan also praised the United States' decision to remove two provisions that were set to restrict the sale of F-16 fighter jets to Turkey from the U.S. Senate version of the 2023 National Defense Authorization Act. We stated that the delivery of F-16 jets to Turkey is an important event not only for Turkey but also for NATO. We follow the developments and the process closely. We have done and continue to do whatever we have to do for a positive outcome. But, on the other hand, the world market is large, so there are various solutions. America is not the only way out for us. Just like with the S-400s, we are also negotiating with alternatives outside the United States. Turkey, Finland and Sweden signed a memorandum on the Nordic countries' bids for NATO membership following four-way talks. As part of the memorandum, Turkey withdrew an objection to the membership of Sweden and Finland to NATO. In return, the Nordic countries pledged to address Turkey's security concerns over terrorism and left an arms embargo on Turkey. I do not evaluate Sweden's ongoing reluctance to extradite terror suspects wanted by Turkey positively. Meanwhile, Sweden's new prime minister requested an appointment. I told our friends to make an appointment and come. We can discuss these issues with him in our country. Our stance will not change because we are uncompromising in the fight against terrorism and we have no intention of making any concessions.